going to do some factoring here. So in my first equation, I want to factor x squared minus x minus 30. So when I am factoring, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my two parentheses. And this works because this is a monic trinomial, meaning the x squared just has a 1 in front of it. Okay, I'm going to put my x and my x here, and then I'm going to look for two terms to go here and here. And I want those two terms to multiply to a negative 30, but also add to my middle term, which is a negative 1. So what I'm going to do, because it's multiplying to a negative, the only thing that multiplies to a negative I know is a positive times a negative. So I do know that, okay? Now let's write down our factors of 30. So we have 1 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 times 10, 4 doesn't go in, 5 and 6, and then we get to 6 and we start going back up here. So these are all my factors of 30. I want one of these, since it is a plus and a minus, to have a difference of 1. So the only things here with a difference of 1 are 5 and 6. And then I just have to ask myself the question, am I doing 5 minus 6 or am I doing 6 minus 5? 5 minus 6 gives me a negative 1, 6 minus 5 gives me a positive 1. So I'm doing 5 minus 6. So I'm going to put the plus with a 5. I'm going to put the minus with a 6. And there you go. That's it. So your factors are x minus 5, sorry, x plus 5 times x minus 6. And then if you want to check that, you can always multiply it out. So if I take this and multiply it out, I've got x times x would give me x squared. x times negative 6 would give me a negative 6x. 5 times x would give me a positive 5x, and 5 times negative 6, negative 30. If I combine my two middle terms, negative 6x plus 5x, that gives me a negative 1x. I'm back to my original, x squared minus x minus 30, so my factors are correct. Now, this next one here is not a monic trinomial, so this actually has a term in front of it. So first thing we're going to do is look to see if we can take out a GCF, and it's not looking like I can. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is write no here. So the next thing we want to do is we want to set this up for factoring either using the mistake method or the AC method. So the AC method, we'll start with that one, is going to be where we take A times C, so 7 times 48. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see here, 7 times 48 is 336. Well, it's going to take me a really long time to list my factors of 336. I'm just going to start working them in my calculator. I want to find something that multiplies to 336, but also adds to 50. So it's the same method that I'm using here, except that's not going to be my factors right away. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for those. So 336, I'm just going to start dividing by 2. Okay, that's not going to work here. Now, also note that because it's a positive 336, it's going to be two positive values here that are going to combine to 50. So let's see, 336 divided by 3, 112. 4, 4 plus 84 is 88, so that's not going to work. Let's see, 10, well, let's see, 5 doesn't work, 6. 6 plus 56 is 62. Now, if there was a minus sign, that might work. 56 minus 6, but these are both positive, so let's keep that in mind. So let's see, 336 divided by 7. 7 plus 48, we're getting close. Okay, but not quite. That's 55. There you go. 336, 8 plus 42 gives us 50. Okay, so that's what we're going to use here. So we're going to use 8 and 42. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this 50x. Well, actually, we'll, yeah, we'll do the AC method. So we're going to take the 50x, and you're going to split that into those two values. So I'm going to put the, um, we'll put the 8x right here and the 42 right here. Now, the reason I'm putting the x with it is because I'm basically going backwards. Notice up in this problem here where I did negative 6x plus 5x, I'm just going backwards from what I did from here to here. Okay, so instead of adding these together, I'm going from this line to this line. Okay, now I'm going to take this first term, 7x squared. I'm going to bring that down, put a plus right there, and then a plus 48 and put that there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor by grouping. So I'm going to take 
is 7x squared plus 8x. I'm going to split this, and I'm going to take a GCF out of that. Now, the only thing that I can take out of that is an x. Okay, so that's going to be, let's see, x, and I'm going to get 7x plus 8. And then here, I can take a 6 out of these. So 42, so here's your 6. 42 divided by 6 is 7x, and 48 divided by 6 is 8. Okay, well, now you have this factor appearing twice. That's one of your factors, so 7x plus 8. And then your other two factors are x plus 6. So there you have it, 7x plus 8 times x plus 6. Now you can check that by multiplying it out, which we will do in a second, but I also want to show you the mistake method for this one, which is a little bit easier. So 7x squared plus 50x plus 48. So let's say here you multiply these out. Okay, you get the 336, and you go through the method to find out that 42 and 8 are your factors here that multiply to 336 and add to 50. So what you're going to do is you're going to set it up like you did number four. So you say x and x. Okay, well, okay, well, it was 8 and 42. And then you're like, okay, that's great, but I'm, I think I'm done, but I'm not really done because I forgot about the 7. That's your mistake in the mistake method. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the 7, you're going to put it under this factor here, and then you're going to simplify. If it doesn't simplify, guess what? It goes right here. So this becomes 7x plus 8. Okay, this does simplify. 42 divided by 7 is 6. And look at that. You've got the same exact factors you got using the group me grouping method. So that is the mistake method for you. So let's just go ahead and check this to make sure it works okay. And then we'll be done here. So you've got 7x times x is 7x squared. 7x times 6 gives us a 42x. 8 times x gives us an 8x, and then 8 plus 6, or sorry, 8 times 6 is 48. You get 7x squared, 42x plus 8x is 50x plus 48. So you've just worked this backwards and forwards and back again to the original problem. You have the correct factors.